Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us continue with the next topic that is GATE CSE 2008 question 47 guys. Okay, the question is consider the following sequence of nodes for undirected graph given below. Okay, so the graph is here. Okay, so they gave the depth first search order guys. So they gave DFS order. Okay, so is a starting from node A. So they clearly gave the starting node is A. So in all options, they started from A. Okay, so that's absolutely good. The nodes are listed in the order they are visited first. So which all of the above are possible? So basically he is asking which of them is true. Okay. Yes. So let us start. So first you visited A. After that you visited B. After that you visited E. After that you visited F. After that you visited D. So how come you came from F to D guys? You are having already two options, right? So you can go to C or E. But how come did you come to F directly? So from F to D, that is not possible. So hence this option is wrong. Okay. Similarly, moving on to next option. From A, you went to B. From B, you went to E. From E, you went to F. From F, you went to C. Okay. So from C, everyone is visited, right? So C's neighbors B, E and F are visited. So you will track back to F. So from F, you can go to G. Yes. From G, you can go to D. Hence, this order looks really good for me. So, it worked in this way, guys. So, I can just draw you the flow also. So, from A, I went to B. From B, I went to E. From E, I went to F. From F, I went to C. I am struck here. So, from C, there is no other path. So, I tracked back. So, I tracked back to F. So, from F, I went to G. Okay. Again, from G, I went to D. In that way. Got it? Yes. So now B is satisfied. So let us solve in this way only because that gives you more idea, right? So I'll be writing down here. Okay. So this is for B and let us try for C now. Okay. Yes. So from A, I went to D. So is there a path? Yes. From D, I went to G. Is there a path? Yes. From G, I went to E. So is there a path? Yes. From E, I went to B. Okay. Yes, there is a path. From B, I went to C. Okay. So there is a path. From C, I went to F. So there is a path. So basically C is also correct, right? Yes. So now let us take the last option, 4. Okay, or D you can say. Okay, yes. So A, from A you went to B. Sorry, D, from D you came to B. Okay. From B you went to C. Okay. So from C you went to G. Okay. So from C, how you can go to G, guys? Are you doing long jumps? It's not correct, right? So this is also wrong. So the correct answers are 2 and 3. So where 2 and 3 is there, B is the correct answer. It's quite simple, right? So that is the reason why you should always practice a breadth first search, depth first search, guys. These questions are commonly asked. So tree traversals and graph traversals are really important, guys. If you ask me among the whole topics which are important, so these two will be important because most of the time you will get expect a question from these topics, guys. So any one will come. Commonly you can say, okay? Yes. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next lecture, let us go through the next question, okay? So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.